Hey everyone, James here with Rococo and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I want to show you guys how to take full advantage of the motion library to find 3D animations for your characters. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you see here, we already have our scene and our character ready to go. Um, and just a quick note, the scene and character are available on our GitHub. So if you want to go ahead and download it and, and play around with it, you can. Just follow the link in our description uh, to go ahead and download it. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and make sure that the motion library is imported. Um, and the way that you go ahead and do that is go to the asset store and search for motion library. And this is our asset here. And you just want to click on the import button to make sure that it gets imported. Uh, we do already have it imported here and it'll show up under the Rococo folder. Um, so once that's ready to go, we can go ahead and now open up the motion library. So if we go up to window, motion library, it'll open up as a little window here. And once it finishes loading, you'll see a list of all of these different um, 3D characters and all of the animations that we have. So these, this is the motion library, and you can see all of the different animations that we have. And so we have uh, a couple of different ways that you can search for animations. So if you're looking for, for things specifically, um, there's a couple of tools that can help you. Um, first off, uh, if you wanna search by category, you can click on this categories tab and you'll see all these different um, categories that you can go ahead and, and search by. So if we go ahead and click dance, uh, you'll see all of our dance animations here. You can also um, sort by uh, most recent ones that were uploaded to the, uh, the motion library. So when it's highlighted, that means it's the most recent. When it's not highlighted, um, it's the oldest animations that, that have been added to the, the library. Um, you can also search in alphabetical order, so um, starting from A through Z, or you can search from Z through A. Uh, you can also search by pricing. So if you click on price, um, you'll notice we have um, a couple of free animations here. You can also um, search by um, a price of animations that, let's go ahead and clear this so you can see. Um, it'll um, search by highest to lowest so highest price asset is six dollars um, and then the lowest is are our demo assets that are free um, you can also use our filters um, drop down right here this will allow you to search by the different categories subcategories uh, specific motions and then uh, male or female if you have uh, an animation that you want um, that was specifically mo capped by a male or female you can uh, search by that and if you're looking for loopable assets, you can click on the loopable and um, it'll give you animations that are um, that just loop all the way through. Um, so now we're going to search for a specific animation. So we can go ahead and use the search bar and we're going to search run. And when you use the search bar, you'll notice that it'll pull up suggested motions, suggested categories and suggested subcategories. You can click on these to add um, specific um, uh, you know to help enhance your your so your search so if you click on action it'll take you to action runs um, and then you can from there continue to add more of these categories and subcategories to really enhance you know specifically find what you're looking for so we'll go ahead and clear these tags and then um, we're gonna go ahead and find a specific run so if we go ahead and let's go ahead and type in scared and um, there should be a specific run uh, running scared. So we'll go ahead and double click this and you can preview it even further. Um, you can click and drag your mouse to get a 360 view of it. Uh, you can also uh, drag and drop your FBX of your character in, inside of here and see what the animation looks like on your character before even purchasing. Um, you can also see on the left side all the details of this specific animation, like the duration, the frame rate, uh, file type, and whether it's male or female motion captured um, by, and then the pricing. You can also pause and stop uh, this animation from playing. You can turn off uh, the loopable, having it loop. Um, you can adjust the speed of this animation, so you can slow it down if you want, or you can uh, speed it up. And then over on the right side, you'll notice, it, you'll see all the 
you know what categories, subcategories, and motions um, this specific uh, animation falls under. Uh, this button will make the camera stop following the character, and um, this will allow you to adjust the camera angle. And then this will allow you to change uh, change it into a skeleton, so you can see uh, the skeleton of this animation. So once you've found an animation that you want to go ahead and download, uh, you can click this button. If you haven't purchased it already, it'll be an Add to Cart button. And once it's added to cart, you just click on your cart up here, and it'll be listed up here. You can go to checkout. So we'll go ahead and click the download button. You'll notice now it's downloading. And then once it's downloaded, it'll go ahead and import under our um, under this motion library folder, and you'll see Centroid running scared. So this is our animation. So now we'll go ahead and apply this animation to our character. So if we go back to our scene, um, we can now click on this animation and we want to set it up. Um, so if you take notice of our uh, mime character, if we go to the FBX of it, you'll notice under rig, the animation type is set to humanoid. We, we want to make sure that our animation is also set to humanoid um, so that it works. So we'll go ahead and go back to our animation and we'll change this from generic change it to humanoid hit apply and then now we can go ahead and go under the animation tab and we can drag and drop our character in the preview so we can see them there and then uh, we can adjust anything that we need within uh, the specific animation on in, in our inspector so if we don't want the starting frame to be a, a T pose for instance we can go ahead and change that by changing the start frame to one and so now that takes away the T-pose. Um, if we want it to loop, we can check that so that it loops. Um, and if we want to go ahead and um, uh, apply you know, the root transforms for rotation and position, we can go ahead and check these as well. And you know, to save these changes, we click Apply. Um, and then now what we need to do in order to set this up on our character is uh, just make sure if we click on our character in the hierarchy, um, under animator control or animator um, you'll notice that there's a controller it doesn't have one we need to create one so we'll go ahead and right click on our assets and then go to create and animator controller and we'll just name this mime and then we can go ahead and click on our character again and then just drag and drop it right into the controller and then you'll notice now when we have this highlighted uh, this is our animator window if you don't have this pulled up you can pull it up by clicking window animation and then animator and so what we need to do now is drag and drop our animation clip into here so in order to do that you can expand out our animation and then you'll notice it has the animation rig the clip and then the avatar we're gonna take this clip and then just drag it and drop it right into here um, and then that's pretty much all you need to do to get it all set up um, if we play the animation you'll see that um, it now should start working and there's our, our character running away. And we can also, you know, um, just for fun, we can uh, adjust our character. Maybe let's have him run across the stage. So we can move him over around here. And then we can hit play again. And now our character is running across stage. So that's essentially how you go ahead and apply um, motion library animations to your characters inside of Unity. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and I really look forward to seeing what you guys are able to utilize and create with using the motion library. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.